find the inverse function. On page 265, problem 3a, we have f of x is equal to 4x minus 12. And the first step to finding the inverse function is to replace the f of x with y. So we'll get y is equal to 4x minus 12. Now what we're going to do is we are going to replace the y with x and replace the x with y. Now that we've replaced the x with y and the y with x, what we need to do is solve for y. What we're going to do is we are going to put the function in slope intercept form with y all alone on one side of the equal sign and the uh, term with the x on the other side of the equal sign along with our y intercept on the other side of the equal sign. So let's go ahead and do that by moving the 12 to the other side of the equal sign. And what we're left with is 4y is equal to x plus 12. Now we can solve for y by dividing both sides of the equal sign by 4. And what we're left with is x over 4 plus 12 over 4 is equal to y. Let's go ahead and rewrite this. Instead of saying x over 4, I'm going to use 1 over 4 times x plus 3 is equal to y. And now that we have solved for y, the last step is we are going to replace our y with f to the power of negative 1 x, or the inverse of x. Let's do that now. And this here is our inverse function of f of x is equal to 4x minus 12. Let's go ahead and do that again uh, for part 3b. Our original function is f of x is equal to 1 over 3x plus 7. And our first step is we're going to replace f of x with y. And we'll get y is equal to 3, 1 over 3x plus 7. Second step is we're going to switch our x and y values. So we're going to write a x for y and a y for x, like so. And we're going to solve for y. So to do that, I'm going to subtract 7 from both sides of the equal sign. And that leaves us with x minus 7 is equal to 1 over 3y. But we still have a fraction in front of the y, so we want to get rid of that. We can do so by multiplying both sides of the equal sign by 3. On the left side of the equal sign, we're distributing out our 3, and we get 3x minus 21 is equal to, and on the right side of the equal sign, the 3 here and the 3 in the denominator cancel out, leaving us with just y. Now that we solved the equation for y, we can replace y with the inverse of f of x.
and let's put a box around that. <laughs> 